Hey folks, Steve here from PilotEffect.com. And Hannah too. We're here today to bring you another glorious Pilot Effect video. Today's topic is the lift equation. The lift equation is a relationship that tells us exactly how much lift our wings will produce under a given set of conditions. It tells us that lift is equal to CL times half of rho times V squared times S. If you're not comfortable with math, that may look really complicated, but it's actually pretty simple. So let's break it down. First, let's break it into three pieces, like this. The S is the easiest part. It represents the plan form area of the wing. You can think of this as the surface area, hence the S. Next, the V represents the true airspeed of the aircraft, and the rho represents the density of the air. When we put them together, as in the parentheses here, we get dynamic pressure. Dynamic pressure is sometimes denoted as Q. A related side note is that dynamic pressure is what our airspeed indicator really measures. You should check out a previous pilot effect video where Mario talks about the airspeed indicator. Now, dynamic pressure, as the name implies, is a pressure. Pressure is a measure of force per unit area. It's expressed in units like pounds per square inch or newtons per square meter. If we multiply pressure by an area, we get force. So multiplying our dynamic pressure by our plan form area will provide us with a number in units of force, like pounds or newtons. This force doesn't have an official name, but let's call it dynamic force, since it comes from dynamic pressure. This brings us to the last piece of the puzzle, which is the lift coefficient. The lift coefficient is a measure of how well the wing converts dynamic force into actual lift for us to use. It doesn't have any units. It converts force into force, and in engineering speak, it's called a dimensionless coefficient. The lift coefficient is determined by a number of factors. The three big ones are the camber of the airfoil, the shape of the plan form, and the angle of attack. If we sketch a graph of lift coefficient versus angle of attack, we get an upward sloped line that shows some small value at zero angle of attack, which then increases with an increasing angle of attack to some maximum before decreasing again. This decrease is the stall, but that's a whole other conversation. For today, we're only interested in the unstalled region of this graph. To boil a whole bunch of complicated aerodynamics down to a few simple statements, the value of the lift coefficient at zero angle of attack is determined primarily by the camber of the airfoil. The slope of the line is determined primarily by the shape of the plan form, and the stalling angle is strongly influenced by the radius of curvature of the leading edge of the airfoil. Okay, that's all really great, but what does the lift equation mean to us as pilots? Well, S, the plan form area, is decided by the aircraft manufacturer. We have no say. The density is a function of altitude, so for a given flight condition, density is predetermined by atmospheric conditions. In other words, it's not something we control, but we do control the true airspeed. However, we normally control the true airspeed in terms of the indicated airspeed. So, the dynamic pressure, viewed by us as the indicated airspeed, is controlled by the pilot. The airfoil camber, the leading edge curvature, and the plan form shape are all fixed by the manufacturer. So again, we have no say. However, the lift coefficient has an additional variable, and that's the angle of attack. Like airspeed, the angle of attack is controlled by the pilot. So when we break it down, the manufacturer sets a number of the variables that control lift. But we're left with two for pilot control, the airspeed and the angle of attack. Sure enough, when we fly an airplane, it's these two variables, speed and angle of attack, that we use to control lift. So there you have it. The lift equation, which starts out looking pretty mathy and theoretical, provides us with some useful information that we use every time we fly. 